It's been a long time since Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner ended their two-year relationship. However, we still haven't gotten over the fact that it had happened and what was the real reason the two broke up. For the first glance, everything seemed well with the couple. They were constantly supporting one another, getting flirty on social media, and spending time as a family with their baby daughter, Stormy. This is so sad to admit, but Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott are single now. They announced their breakup in September 2019, and it really came out of nowhere. At least for all of us, everything seemed perfect. Their relationship seemed perfect. But why do such things happen to perfect couples? It was so unexpected. So even now, when it's been a year, but people still have only speculated about why things went south. So, what happened for real? In this video, we are going to be talking about the sad and real reason why Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott broke up. Make sure you stay till the end, because we prepared really interesting information for you. Perfect Relationship This romance began as unexpectedly as it ended, but it was a really beautiful romance. When they started seeing, it seemed like they were an unlikely pair because no one ever expected Kylie Jenner to get with relative newcomer to the rap game, Travis Scott. But, hold on, we know she likes rappers. Her ex-boyfriend is Tyga. Actually, who's the next, lol? Okay, let's go back to Kylie and Travis. Both Jenner and Scott are extremely young, and there's no wonder they fell in love so fast and they felt a sparkle between them. Despite the fact people were shocked knowing they are in love, these two had major chemistry when they first began dating. Work, parenting, and other things have taken precedence. Kylie and Travis began dating after spending time together at Coachella in 2017. It was so beautiful, and everyone saw they had a sparkle. Just 10 short months later, they welcomed their daughter Stormy Webster into the world. At the time, their relationship seemed to be stronger than ever. They seemed like a very powerful couple. They were role model couples. And that is why literally no one expected them to break up real fast. The first thing which comes to your mind when you hear someone's relationship is over, they may lose the sparkle. And apparently, by the end of their relationship, the spark simply wasn't there. Kylie wants the spark they had when they originally got together and is willing to figure out getting back to that place, a source told Hollywood Life. Right now, she is enjoying being away and doing things for herself for a change. She is going to have to wait and see if Travis is her forever or not. Only time will tell. It was difficult with Travis touring for much of their relationship, and although Kylie did her best to join him on the road with Stormy, it ultimately took a toll on their relationship. Plus, it was challenging traveling with a baby and still focusing on running her business. But was it the only reason, or was it something else? Few reasons of Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner's breakup. After this tweet, the pair officially ended their relationship. Travis and I are on great terms, and our main focus right now is Stormy. Our friendship and our daughter is a priority. It shocked fans and the whole internet so hard. Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott literally made the headlines for a big period of time. The information about their breakup was everywhere. Everyone talked about it. Tweets, IG posts, news, magazines. Have you ever thought how is it difficult to break up with someone when you are famous? I guess this is incredibly difficult. So, let's take a look on the reasons why this perfect pair could break up. Obviously, every breakup has more than just one reason, but maybe we can figure out what was the main one. Stay tuned to know the truth. Number 1. Travis Scott Cheated on Kylie Actually, things have been rocky between the two since February, and since Kylie posted that tweet, people started making rumors of them, as usual. Of course, the first thing they made up was Scott allegedly had cheated on Jenner. The couple has been hot and cold since their last breakup and haven't been able to fully get on the same page again, a source told Entertainment Tonight. They are both extremely busy, with different schedules, and since Kylie found out about Travis messaging another girl on Instagram, the rebuilding of trust has been hard. This is so sad, but let's reveal some more information about it. Number 2. Kylie came back to her ex, Tyga. There was some information that Jenner went out to a party with some of her friends, and Tyga, her ex-boyfriend. Kylie wanted to have a girls' night out last night, and Stacy thought it would be best to get her out of the house and her mind off the news, the source said. He was with a few of their mutual friends at Sunset Marquee and invited Kylie and her girlfriends to come hang out since they were already out. But it seems like the party was pretty decent, no romance, just for fun. It wasn't an intentional jab at Travis, but she did hang out with Tyga for a bit. Nothing romantic is going on. Number 3. Kylie and Travis have different priorities. Yes, their little daughter Stormy is the center of their world, as Kylie posted it on her Twitter, 
But Scott and Jenner currently have different priorities. Travis was getting antsy not going out more now that Stormy is older, and he wanted to live the life he has afforded himself and be out and about more, an insider told Hollywood Life. Though Kylie is young and wants to go out herself, she is also a wonderful mother and wants to live her life as a family. He really likes focusing on touring instead of chilling with Kylie and Stormy. Not that it isn't fun for him, but it's something he doesn't always want to do. Kylie doesn't like Travis not wanting to be there more often doing the family thing, and that was one of the initial strains that brought upon the breakup. Um, daddy still want to hang out? Huh. We don't even blame him. He is young and famous, but you are a father. And I actually can feel for Kylie. She wants the family to be together as much as possible. Number 4. The romantic spark between Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner faded. As we have already said before, everything is pretty simple. They don't have that spark between them anymore. It's just faded. It happens when you are young and just meet the person and you have butterflies in your stomach and it feels so warm and great. But then something happens between you and the feelings are starting to fade away and you can't do anything about it. Obviously, Kylie and Travis were trying so hard to save their relationship. They were so supportive of each other and even through the screens, we can see how they love their little daughter. Here's the real reason. At least, Travis said it was the real one. Different lifestyles, values, always busy work, and a fading spark are all reasons to end a relationship. We'd never know for sure if these two were cheating on each other, but this is the less thing to care about after it is all over. However, after a while, Scott just explained the real reason for the demise of his romance with Jenner. He said, The hard part about relationships are just trying to be in one without a million outside voices interfering. And it feels like the real thing. We all know that being famous, extremely famous, like Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner are never easy. There are so many people watching and spying on your personal life. You can't hide anything from the spotlight, and it could be the reason why Kylie and Scott broke up. Since Jenner and Scott were an A-list couple with obsessive fans, we can see how exhausting that could be. So many famous people are saying this is so exhausting. People are getting obsessed with you, which ruins the relationship. However, Travis Scott also explained that no matter what happens, he will always love Kylie Jenner. So let me know your opinion. What was the real reason for Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott breaking up? Was it the fact of cheating on each other or the social media and people's pressure? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.